Hello everyone, I'm Harry and welcome to my channel and today we're going to look at the Collider Delay and Reverb by Source Audio. So before we get started, if you like this demo at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on my future uploads. There's going to be gear affiliate links down in the description to the Collider and every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. So for the Collider Source Audio, I've got all the fan favourite delay and reverbs from their Nemesis and Ventures pedals and packed it into one unit. Now this is a dual processor pedal, so each side has its own processor. So it's like two high powered pedals in one. As you can see, there's a bunch of different algorithms on the front. So on the reverb side, we have a room reverb that captures the ambient reverberations of a real room slash acoustic space which can go from warm and intimate household rooms to a larger theatre sized space. We have a hall reverb that is actually modelled after the lush sounds of a studio rack unit from the 80s. The hall engine is distinguished by its highly diffused tones and glorious blooming characteristics. We have a spring reverb which is actually their true spring reverb algorithm that they had a separate pedal for as well. And Soul Sodio's chief scientists worked long and hard to perfectly capture the sweet idiosyncrasies of a vintage spring reverb tank. The result is an exceptionally real spring reef with the unmistakable drip heard in vintage spring reverb equipped amps. We have a plate reverb which is a really authentic sounding reverb engine and is a spot on simulation of famous vintage plate reverb units like what we use in the 50s and 60s in studios. The shimmer reverb is a pitch shifting reverb engine that mixes traditional room sounds with octave up reflections for an angelic reverb type effect that's actually become really popular in recent years and is a great alternative to normal reverb sounds. We have an edom reverb which is a cavernous e-dime aka a normal dime which produces long lush reverb trails that linger for days you can invoke the sound of massive arena settings with the largest room simulation that was actually found in the ventures reverb this one is absolutely massive and really cool we have a swell reverb that creates smooth volume swells the engine applies a volume swell effect to your instrument's dry signal which is then fed into the reverb for super long and ambient clouds of sound this effect is great for soft atmospheric chord pads and will really really appeal to the ambient crowds. Now, if we have a look at some of the delay algorithms, so we have a digital delay, which is a classic, pristine, unfiltered digital delay. We have an analog delay, which reproduces the characteristics of dark sound in Bucket Brigade analog delays. We have a tape delay that is a detailed recreation of classic moving head tape delays, repeats are bandwidth limited, and have artifacts that are characteristic of tape delays, such as filtering, preamp saturation, noise, wow, and flutter. We have a reverse delay that's a classic reverse tape sound that became popular in 60s psychedelic rock. The tone knob can create several overlapping reverse delays that fade in and out regularly to create a pulsing tremolo effect. And then finally we have the oil can delay that is a dark, jangly, warbling and distorted delay inspired by old oil can designs that previously appeared in the extended delay engines on the Nemesis pedal. Some really cool features that we have, we have stereo ins and outs. Like I said before we have dual processors, so each side has its own processor and what's really cool about this is you can unlock both sides as well. So if you want to have two delays going on at once you can do that or if you want two reverbs or anything like that so say if you had a tape delay set to quarter notes and then you wanted the digital delay set to dotted eighth you can get that really classic delay time going on as well analog drive free which is a must for me in most delay and reverb pedals we have universal bypass that selects between true bypass buffered bypass or soft bypass with reverb trails and there's a high quality signal relay for true bypass and transparent buffers for analog bypass it's also midi on board so you can have 128 presets and loads of other classic midi features tap tempo for the delay side which is really great as well and a reverb hold mode where you can hold the reverb trail to get big chord things while you improvise over that and then there's the knobs lock switch so this three-way toggle switch in the middle position it locks all the controls in the left position it sets all the controls to be controlled in the delay side and then in the right position it sets all the controls to be controlled in the reverb side there's also expression control and this cool little thing where it has an led in the top right and if you're on a preset and you want to find out where the knob position was you slowly move the knob and it will blink when you get to that point which is a really nice feature to get all your controls into the preset that you're on and then tweak from there as you can see we have four presets on the front of the pedal which can actually be extended by up to 128 we can also connect the neuro editor to really deep dive into it and look at all the different features on board you can connect your phone to the pedal via headphone jack adapter that comes with the pedal so the main controls on the front we have a delay which in the delay mode is the delay time and in the reverb mode is the pre-delay we have a feedback control which is how many repeats in the delay mode and in the reverb side it's the decay we have a tone control a control one and a control two that do all different things depending on the algorithm whether it be a delay algorithm or a reverb algorithm and different between those 
you'll see me go through those on screen in the main demo. And then we have a standard mix control to mix in the wet signal with your dry signal. As you'll see above the delay foot switch, flash tap tempo is actually a subdivisions mode. So we have quarter notes, dotted eighth, and triplets. So we're gonna have a look at all the reverb algorithms first, and then the delay algorithms. Then we're gonna unlock the pedal and have two delays going on at once. And then we'll quickly finish it off with a little delay and reverb together. So the guitar I'm using today is my Matmul S Classic. That's gone into my Cornell Romney Pro, which is kind of like a Fender tween version on Blackface territory. And that's been recorded by the Lewitt MTP 440 dynamic microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So the Matmul S Classic straight into the Romney Pro sounds like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we have it, that was a look at the Collider Delay and Reverb by Source Audio. Definitely one of my favourite delay and reverbs. I actually quite prefer this to the Strymon stuff. It seems a lot more intuitive and every sound in it is great from the offset no matter where you have the control set. You've kind of got all the best delay and reverb algorithms in there with a ton of different controls 
and insane flexibility if you need it through the new right editor as well. I can't recommend this pedal enough. If you want a delay and reverb for your pedal board, the search for a good delay and reverb is kind of over for me with this one. So again, there's going to be gear affiliate links down in the description to the Source Audio Collider and all the gear I used in this video. And to record my videos, these do help support the channel out further. So I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. If you did like that demo, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't miss out on my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.